name is Susan Isaac. I'm an associate professor of pediatrics at Duke University. The objective for this module is to outline the daily energy requirements for preterm and term infants, including clinical conditions which can change these requirements. Data derived for the energy expenditure, the energy stored, and the energy excreted for infants can be substituted into the energy balance equation using the energy units of kilocalories. The result is the theoretical energy intake that will support the desired growth of 15 grams per kilo per day in the uncomplicated premature infant and 20 to 30 grams per day in the term infant. The value of 120 kilocalories per kilo per day is felt to be the minimum daily caloric requirement needed for an uncomplicated premature infant with requirements up to 150 kilocalories per kilo per day seen in premature infants with a complicated medical course. In both cases, these energy requirements are higher than the daily recommended intake of approximately 100 kilocalories per kilo per day seen in term infants that was initially suggested by Waterloo in 1989. It should be noted that present suggested caloric intakes for term infants range from 90 kilocalories per kilo per day to 110 kcals per kilo per day. There are many adaptations required from fetal to extrauterine life that can lead to increased energy expenditure. This table provides some of the changes that occur in major organ groups at the time of birth. Please pause the video and read the table carefully. Totally daily energy intakes for full-term infants increase sharply during the first 48 hours of life and continue to increase at a lower rate until reaching approximately 100 kilocalories per kilo per day at the end of the second week of life. Unlike term infants, premature infants have limited body stores, so providing more caloric support is necessary to achieve growth. 120 kilocalories per kilo per day is recommended for uncomplicated well preterm infants to achieve growth rates similar to those achieved in utero. In complicated premature infants, medical conditions may contribute to increased energy needs because several medical conditions can tip the delicate balance of the energy equation by increasing either energy expenditure or energy loss. Energy expenditure is increased with chronic lung disease is associated with up to a 10 to 15 percent total increase in caloric need through increased energy expenditure in the premature infant period. Congenital heart disease and acute sepsis are also associated with increased energy expenditure. Surprisingly, caffeine use has also been associated with an increase in energy expenditure up to 21 kilocalories per kilo per day. Energy loss may be increased in the premature infant as well. Energy loss may be seen with short gust syndrome as well as any event leading to malabsorption. In summary, the thoughtful consideration of each of the variables in the energy equation can lead to optimal energy delivery to support energy accretion and neonatal growth. The topic of energy requirements in the preterm and term infant continues to have significant gaps of knowledge and suggests an area for further research. This concludes the third module as well as the presentation on energy requirements. Thank you for your attention.